Hi, I'm Jason from Better Batteries and I'm here today to run you through a lead crystal battery and what it is and what makes a lead crystal unique in the world of batteries. So a lead crystal was first came about back in the wars. They were having a lot of trouble with uh, batteries in tanks. So they had the batteries inside of the tank, create a lot of gas, which ultimately would then hydrogen gas inside the, the tank with a big gun is never a good idea. Then they moved the batteries to the outside of the tank, they sat them on the back but the opposition worked out that it was very easy to, to uh, disable the tank by shooting the batteries. So it was the US military that put a lot of time and effort into trying to develop battery technology. They stumbled across the technology, uh, but they couldn't get above 11 volts. So it, it sat dormant for many, many years. That's when um, a, the team of scientists got involved and our, our uh, team of engineers cracked the code and the secret to this battery and today we have the modern equivalent of our lead crystal. What sets lead crystal apart from traditional lead based batteries, and it's worth making a point that a lead crystal is a heavy battery, it's, it's not a light battery like say a lithium, it is a lead based battery. But it differs from traditional batteries in that it doesn't suffer from sulfation. So a normal battery, if I run that battery down too low, uh, there's a sulfation that will build on the plate that will create a resistance to charge, so the next time I go to charge the battery, it'll actually push back against the charge and it won't come back to its full capacity. A lead crystal can be discharged right the way to zero and it can fully recover from zero. So you can bring the battery full, give it a couple of charge cycles and it'll be back at its full rated capacity with no dire effects. I often say to people that if they think of our battery a little bit like a printer ink, cartridge in that if you run it to zero that's like printing a page of black you're just using up the electrolyte in the battery as you would use up the ink in a printer cartridge so over the life of the battery you consume the electrolyte the other really great feature of this battery is that it can handle um, partial state of charge no worries at all so you can run off of solar applications but periodically you do need to give it the right charge current and uh, if you are buying a lead crystal, I'd encourage you to have a look at our video on, uh, on charging or have a look at the data sheets off our website at uh, www.betterbatteries.com. But um, charging of these batteries is an important factor of the battery. But if you charge them right, you get a lot of cycles out of the battery. Traditional lead acids add about 20% depth of discharge. So if I just drop 20% out of the battery, we get about 1,800 cycles, maybe 2,500 for the best of them. A lead crystal will do that 6,600 times. So it's a very long cycle life battery. One of my personal favourite features of this battery is that it's got good usable energy. So uh, again, traditional lead, we would consider flat around about the 12 volts. Um, you'll see a lot of the AGM gels will probably go down to 11.5 as, as dead flat, but our flat is right down at 10.5. It's actually a little bit lower, but we like to say 10.5 so we don't oversell the battery, but uh, we consider 50% to be 12 volts. So what that means is there's a lot more usable energy in the lead in a lead crystal battery. So you'll often find when you start using these batteries for the first time, you'll say, wow, I can't believe how long it's, it's run the fridge for or, or my lights have run off it. So that's another great feature the battery can handle a much wider temperature range. So we've got batteries that are right down at the uh, minus 40, uh, right through to 65 plus degrees. Uh, you'll find our batteries in some quirky locations all over the world. We run our batteries in the high speed train in Tibet that goes up into the Tibetan mountains at very low temperatures. Uh, our batteries are in, in um, the, the um, southern oceans down in the, the Antarctic. We've got uh, batteries up in, in Dubai and up in the deserts in you know, some really high temperatures. So it can handle quite a wide range of temperature. It has a very low internal resistance, so it can receive charge fairly quickly and it can give off charge fairly quickly. So that's just a quick few examples of our battery and what sets our battery apart from your traditional batteries. Again, if you'd like more information, visit our website at www betterbatteries.com and you'll find a range of information there that will tell you a bit more. Thanks for your time.